Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the path to get into cybersecurity and how I did it. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're returning, you know the drill. So as I got into the world of cyber, it was a little unique for me, right? I got my PayPal hacked. I was a network engineer. I was a system engineer, cloud engineer, VMware engineer, whatever you wanna call it, all those things in one. When I led into cybersecurity, it was very unique. I got my PayPal hacked. It, would, it intrigued me to learn more about cybersecurity. And I went to my counselor and I changed my careers up a little bit. So that's a little bit what happened. I got my PayPal hacked. I jumped into cyber and uh, that's, that's how I got into it. You know, you can watch a whole bunch of other videos. I talk more about my story, but I don't want to make this. I just want to get to the point of how I got into it. Right. That was the beginning of my career in cyber. And so when I actually got into cyber, right, there was no hack the box, no try hack me's, no vuln hubs, no, none of that. I would have to actually run backtrack R3. If you guys remember that, that was before Kali Linux. And I would run that on a virtual PC. And then I actually had a little laptop that I installed it on as well, which was a pain in the butt because back then, you know, drivers and all that stuff was super, super you know, incompatible, incompatible, whatever the word is, you know? So, and there's, there's multiple ways, multiple paths to get into cyber, right? You can get into SOC analyst, penetration testing, uh, CISO, a network security manager, there's forensics, and I really enjoy forensics. I don't really talk about my forensic stuff, but I do enjoy that very much. So we'll talk about what ways to get into cyber. What is my top ways that I would recommend for you as a viewer to, to do, right? So my top, my number one is learn the essentials, right? Learn the fundamentals of anything, networking, programming, operating systems, and just learn those fundamentals and understand them. Because say, for example, we're running TCP dump. We're running a Nmap scan. We're running all these different cool tools that we're going to learn about as a hacker, a blue team, or a purple team, etc. But when you don't know what's going on on the on the wire, you're not going to really understand what's happening, right? So number two is certifications, right? Gain some knowledge, gain some experience with the fundamentals, the essentials, etc. And now we can jump into certifications. I would recommend maybe doing like the Security Plus if you're brand new, maybe the CYSA Plus from CompTIA. You can do some, you know, I like the Certified Ethical Hacker now more than I did it when I, when I did it, because I did it like 10 years ago. But now they have the Master where you can do a little bit more hands-on. You can do some uh, TCM security for the PJPT, which Practical Junior Penetration Tester, and then the PMPT. And that's if you want to go more on the blue team, excuse me, the red team. Pen testing, and then if you want to get into the blue team, the CYSA plus, the security plus, and there's like uh, blue team level one certification, and there's some other blue team certifications that you can get as well. So get that formal education behind you to sh to validate the skills that you learned, right? And that goes hand in hand with labs, right? Your home lab, get your hands on some labs. If it's today, you can do hack the box, try hack me. Voln hub machines, you can build your own lab with VMware Workstation or VirtualBox, and just everything that you learned in the previous steps, you can put that to practice, right? And the next one is get industry specific training. What do I mean by that? Say, for example, you want to go to become a blue teamer, right? Learn some SIM tools, learn some incident response tools, learn some, you know, email, you know, uh, Cofans, uh, Imperva, there's, um, there's a whole bunch of other tools that we can utilize to learn and just get those hands-on experience. And then if you want to be a red teamer, obviously learn about C2 frameworks and then, you know, Kali Linux, learn about some of the red team stuff. And we're not going to talk about the tools today, but you, you, you get what I'm saying. And the next one you can do is start networking with people like with LinkedIn, 
excuse me, with LinkedIn, you can go to local conferences, you can go to big conferences. Like when I went to DEF CON, I networked with folks. I went to B-Sides, I networked with folks. And just make those connections, make those relationships, right? Because now with that, you can get more exposure, you get your name out there and so on and so forth, right? And the next one I have here is to apply that knowledge, right? So everything you gained from all the other steps that I said, is to apply that. Now you're ready and you can apply for, for example, a job. You can use those skills to leverage anything that you're trying to get into. And say, for example, maybe you can't get that first hands-on job. Maybe you can do an internship. Maybe you can do, you know, shadowing with, you know, an organization like, I know TCM, say, for example, if, you ha if you're working somewhere and they do a pen test, you can shadow that pen test which I think is pretty sweet. Not a lot of people do that. Or maybe go to a local church, you know, lo local nonprofits. Maybe you can volunteer there. And just to like maybe do their firewalls, do their endpoint protection, see if they're, you know, what they're using and give some recommendations. You never know what you can get out of it, right? And, um, right? And always find a new way to learn something, right? You can do you know, YouTube university, you can, you know, I always say that, but you can learn something new by just taking a new technique and learning a new technique or whatever you're trying to learn. Like I'm doing a VMware series. Now I'm learning something new that I didn't know because now I had to create iSCSI data stores to, you know, to do multi-path networking for my LUNs, for my data stores to connect to a, a little drive that's sitting below me right here. And it's just like, I had to learn that, right? I didn't know it like a couple of, couple of days ago, but I had to learn how to make this work in order for me to continue that serious. Uh, but yeah, and um, learn about you know cybersecurity awareness. There's there's multiple companies out there to to learn about that, but learn about the awareness of security. Because now you can teach this to your parents. You can teach this to your family. Don't use, you know, I love my, you know, I love my daughter's name dot, you know, whatever. I, I was going to say dot com. I love my daughter's name as my password or whatever, you know, the case may be. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I can go on and on, but I think that's good for now. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the description below or the comments below. And I really enjoy this field. There's always something new, evolving and you have to stay on top of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this field and welcome to the world of cybersecurity. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.